Hi, what's up, everyone?、Uh, my name is Terumi. I started learning English just six years ago when I was uh, uh, 29, 30 years old, and I'm 35 years old right now, and I can speak English. What do you think if you can speak Japanese like my English? Not, my English is not perfect, right? But I can speak in front of the people. I'm not shy, I can speak. Okay, I'm quite confidently, I can speak. Okay, what do you think if you can speak Japanese like my English level just a few years later? If you can speak Japanese confidently, what do you think? If you say yes, then please listen and check it out what is the actually the method to be a Japanese speaker as soon as possible. So, what about you know, our brain? Like, brain is we start forgetting many things. Today, I learn new text, new words, new vocabulary, right? And, like, you know, here I have, like, because I, I'm teaching Japanese for six years unstoppably, right? And then the first four years, I was using like this, you know, Genki book or like vocabulary 1000 or something. And I was teaching, you know. But what's happened? You know, you actually, you know, learn a lot of vocabulary like 1000. The point is, do you remember? And then, do you know how to use it? For example, let's say here, Shiai is game. Game. Game? Here it's written, Shiai is a game.、Uh, like a match, like a sports game. Then, how are you gonna use it? Shiai, then try to speak something. Ah, Shiai, Shiai, Ga, 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 Mmm, Wa, and No, Um, You don't know. That's the thing. s First of all, when you learn the vocabulary, you're not sure you can memorize them forever. And then the second thing s is you are sh- not sure about how to use these phrases. And when you're gonna use it, Shiai. Do you use this word every single day? No. Maybe just one time per year. And that's one time the t- time comes, you don't remember. And even you don't know how to use, how to make the sentences. That's the things I realized after four years of teaching Japanese to the foreigner. You know, I s- met so many, right? And then, of course, some people are really successful, some people are forgetting every day. Right, but as a teacher, I really want everyone to say thank you, Terumi. I became a Japanese speaker, yay! You know, and then look at myself and how I learned English these six years. I speak, speak, try, 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 try every day, every day. Some people say, like in the YouTube comment, oh, before like、uh, teaching Japanese, learn English more. Your English is horrible. Yeah, I have seen like this comment also, you know. It's not only fun doing、uh, YouTube and、uh, teaching Japanese to the many, many people and then, you know, in front of everyone. But, you know, this suffer and、uh, embarrassing time and everything I'm going through, and then I'm here right now. So, you know, what I felt during the teaching this Japanese. Hmm, that's never gonna end. Oh my god, it's too much. People are learning but forgetting every day, and it's first of all not useful. Shiai, you don't use, but it's better learn where you're from, what you're doing, what's up, how's going. Can you speak something in Japanese? Uh, uh, Genki? Genki? Yeah, Genki is fine. How do you say something? Try to speak to me something natural Japanese. Uh, mm, yeah, yesterday I learned, like, of course, here.、Uh, you know, so difficult to, you know, really make the sentence, build the sentence that something right now that you can use it every time. So, first of all, we need to focus our brain. How can we stop forgetting the words? You know, if we don't forget forever, then it's all fine. 
I learned today everything and never forget. Like AI robot, unfortunately we are not robot. If we don't use it, we will forget immediately. Especially, it's not your teeth like expanding the new English word. No, Japanese. Difficult, right? It's really difficult. And these words, if you don't use it, difficult things, you don't use it every day. How are you gonna memorize it? Right? So that's for me too. English was so difficult for Japanese. Really, Japanese language and the English language is super, super different. How we talk, you know, to, hey, what's up, everyone? It's so different. Pronunciation different, behavior different, the thinking way different. And you don't use it every day? How are you gonna learn it? You never become a Japanese speaker. I have seen so many, like thousands of people studying Japanese many years or living in Japan many years, but it cannot speak. So believe me, I've never lived in the English speaking country. Never. Even I never had the native English teacher. It's a funny things, you know, funny things. I've never lived in the English country. I've never lived in the, I don't know, I never had the English teacher, but I could improve right here. So you can improve Japanese without living in japan 100 percent sure i really like promise you that you can be a japanese speaker without living in japan also be careful you are living in japan doesn't mean you can be a japanese speaker yeah i have seen even many japanese people who living in the us or uk or australia their english is worse than mine <laughs> what's going on so that's why I really promise you that you don't need to worry about like I need to live in Japan so I cannot learn. No, the point is we need to think about our brain. How we can stop forgetting the words and how we can improve every day. Because if you can improve every day 365 days, you will have 65, six, uh, one, uh, 365 words or sentences. Then pronunciation what do you think about pronunciation pronunciation you need to listen the native pronunciation that you want to speak there's no meaning like uh, i was watching the mission impossible that be because i i love tom cruise right and then whatever tom cruise say is useless vocabulary to me so you need to learn the words that you can use it every day first of all like useful vocabulary and sentences every day and you need to get the native phrases native phrases native pronunciation right so that's why there's no meaning to just to watch something movie that it's you don't talk like like a movie okay so i'm gonna give you these three tips to improve your japanese speaking skill as soon as possible okay just imagine you cannot you cannot be a native japanese speaker you cannot be a complete native Japanese speaker as soon as possible. That's, that's impossible. I cannot be a native English speaker. I'm trying, but it's just closer. And then also you can speak much confidently. That's point. So you can make friends. You can start a new business. Maybe you can make a partner. Uh, you can join any hobby community, something like you know, sport team or like a car racing team, whatever, any community you can join. The tips one is use it every day. So please use Japanese language every day. This is impossible to memorize if you are not using every day because our brain is only the things we use every day, whatever, cooking or um, like whatever any knowledge like even your native native uh, language uh, vocabulary is also the same if you don't like to talk about politics how are you gonna talk about politics for one one hour even mother language right so this is the things the people remember only the things that they using every day so which means if you don't use Japanese every day you don't remember nothing so that's why please use every day 
Then, this is a question. I'm not living in Japan. I, I don't have Japanese language environment, so that's why I cannot use. That's fine. But, me, look, I didn't live in, I've never lived in an English speaking country. But look, I'm trying to do YouTube, or I actually try to meet some people, even online, try to just a little chat. Or also, you know, now it's just Skype or uh, any uh, like Zoom, or it's a free platform that actually you can meet the people, right? So you can try to speak. Or even like when you're taking a shower or you are actually cooking, okay, how are we gonna say, I wanna eat this? I, I wanna cook this? I, I bought a carrot today. Something you know, you need to always think about the language. Of course, the best is you make one, just one Japanese friend, and you can actually speak to her or him always, like just 10 minutes. Like, just a, hey, like, what's up? Genki, nani sen no? Yeah, like just 10 minutes conversation. It's really, how can I say, a huge impact that you can, you can stop forgetting the words the problem is you don't use it one week nothing and oh what what was it last week uh, we learned something i learned something i don't remember anything so it's there's no improvement learn forget learn forget learn forget nothing like going like a really progressively you can really improve right so that's why please figure out how you're gonna use it every day but you have to use it every day believe me that's the actual we can control the, our brain that the, we will never forget this word how you gonna forget what's up this word what's up everybody using all the time you using you never forget but something like a really specific english word that you don't use it uh what, what was it you can forget the same things japanese language also the same you have to use it in order to not forget okay so tip number two tip number two is get the native pronunciations so pronunciations training i did so much so much so much because you know i have to speak like this in front of the people and i want i don't want to speak i am from japan my name is terumi uh, uh, nice to meet you you know, I just didn't want to talk like this. I just wanted to speak like really natural English. Still, my pronunciation is, you know, not perfect. I, ha I, I can see a lot of problem, but better. I'm still improving. So that's, a, that's good things, you know? It's important things. We need to make progress every day. Not like a today you learn and then forget, learn, forget, as I said always. So that's why you need to get the native pronunciation. You don't need to expect to speak like a native today, but please listen and speak the actual useful phrases with a native pronunciation. For example, I'm from the US. America kara kimashita. America kara kimashita. America kara kimashita. Like this, you know, really useful phrases. And what's up? Saikindo. Like this, you know, useful phrases with native pronunciation are really, really, really important because otherwise, ah, huh? what did you say? What did you say? You know, you will hurt yourself that it's, oh, I try to speak, but no one can understand me. Yeah. So that's why get the native pronunciation. Okay. Then the pronunciation training is quick tips I can give you so you need the repetition right like uh, how many time I try to practice you know literally literally uh, something you know this literally was really difficult for me because Japanese we have only rarirurero and literally was so difficult how can I speak like a native fast it was so slow you know Oh, what was it? I had an entrepreneur. An entrepreneur? Still, like, uh, I think it's not perfect. But this one also. I did so many exercises. Same words, same phrases. If I really want to use it, right? I don't need to learn something like a useful, useless words that I don't speak forever. Like, uh, what was it? Last time. It's uh, like a match. Match game. I'm not like an athlete. I don't use it every day. I don't need this word, but I need like a WhatsApp. 
Yeah, right? So that's why pronunciation, if you really want to improve, like exactly the same, like you become a singer. If you want to become a singer, you have to sing all the time, right? To improve. Speak like a native. Sing like a singer, right? So you just need the repetition. And that's hard because it's boring, repetition. But all the children do repetition at the school. Same words, same words. Hello, good morning, how are you? All the time, repetition. That's why children are really good at learning the new things because they do repetition naturally. Only the adults say, oh, I don't want to repeat, it's boring. I want to learn new things. New things, new things, but hey, do you remember something? You learn new things a lot. Uh, I don't remember. Yeah, that's the things. You need to repeat the same things, otherwise you cannot memorize anything. So that's why get the native pronunciation and please repeat many, many times to be like native. So tip number three is please get 100 useful phrases at first point. Okay, so this is a, one of the most important things you need to do when you learn the language, especially Japanese language, like totally different language from the English, because it's the reaction and uh, how you gonna greet, everything is different, right? So if you don't learn the native phrases and they're also really useful for your life, 100 phrases, if you don't learn it all the time, uh, like a grammar, so, uh, difficult like uh, uh, words or maybe use, useless words and again like adjective, verb and adverb and all this grammar is like mixing all the time plus Japanese culture things which is honorific verb and the uh, uh, humble uh, way to say something or really respectful way to say so much information believe me i was teaching japanese grammar for four years unstoppably for all foreigners and it's crazy you know crazy we have a lot of things you need to learn if you start from grammar and then still you're not sure how to say what's up how are you gonna you know learn this word from grammar what's up what is you know nani mm -hmm. is is am are you know you can change the uh, is to am um, to are and then uh, up up is up and it's going up but doesn't mean it's going up yeah so this is it's called like recently what are you doing how you feel like this greeting and japanese language and then what's up in japanese what is this Saikin, Saikin is recently. Mm -hmm. Dou desu ka? How is? So that's the Japanese language. Then how is? So the past tense is how was. Dou desu ka? How is? Dou desu ka? Saikin recently, but also you can say kono goro also recently. You know, it's so much information. Maybe you just confused and you don't know what to say. So you just learn simply, more, much more simply, like a children. Okay, how are you gonna say this situation when you are happy? You have to say this one. When you are feel sad, you have to say this one. But if you really learn with the grammar, okay, sad, sad is an adjective. And then do you remember past tense? Uh, do you remember present tense? And do you remember Japanese adjective is we have e adjective, na adjective. So uh, it's, uh, sad is e adjective, it's called kanashi. And then, but also we have na adjective, for example, kirei na, it's beautiful, it's na ending. And then super sounds difficult, right? So that's why I always say better don't learn grammar because you're just gonna struggle all the time and whenever you start speaking, uh, what was it, na adjective, e adjective, adverb, and noun, and verb, and verb, we have honorific verb, uh, all the time your brain will like, you know, stuck there. The grammar, like you would like become a computer that cannot remember very well and also cannot connect the word to word to uh, to make the build the sentences human brain 
doesn't work like that. If you, a brain is like Google Translate, like AI, then you could work like this. But human is more simple things. We need to learn the tone, phrases. So what was this song? And so how do you say Ohayou gozaimasu? Yeah, this is a tone. There's, we don't need grammar behind this good morning Ohayou gozaimasu. You know, we just need to learn phrases. So please get one of the most important phrases in your life in Japanese 100 first. So if you really want to learn this 100 sentences and if you want to learn how to use this 100 sentences, come to our master course and you'll be a Japanese speaker in two months.